Georgies! Good news for infantry focused players here in Battlefield 5. If you thought the assault class was a little too weak with its wide complement of capable assault rifles, its options for two different explosives and two different gadget slots, and its ability to overall dominate the front lines here on the ground, well, don't worry, you've got a new gadget for the assault class here that's going to let it go ahead and engage every possible threat in the game all by itself. Let me introduce you guys to the Fliegerfaust. This is a 9-barrel anti-aircraft rocket launcher, but really, it acts a lot more like an anti-aircraft shotgun. Anything within several hundred meters of you firing it is going to get deleted out of the sky. In theory, it's supposed to only do a certain amount of damage. I believe the maximum is supposed to be around 75, even for lighter aircraft like fighters. But because these are flak-based rockets, I feel like the damage was... Uh, definitely higher than that. I would frequently get hits into the 80s on a single aircraft. This means that if the aircraft you're firing at has taken any damage whatsoever, you're definitely going to get a kill. Don't worry though, because given that the Assault class is such a capable class, DICE wanted to make sure that this is a skill-based weapon, so you're going to have to be very, very crafty with how you use it. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to select it in your loadout, that is key, and then when you spawn in and you hear, see, or even think you see a plane, just go ahead and pull it out, and then you left click, and that's basically it, you get a kill. Also, don't forget the Flieger Faust etiquette. If you spot one of the other 19 assault players on your team who are also using it, you're required to do a 360 no scope salvo to acknowledge their anti-aircraft heroism. Yep, everything's looking just fine. Just remember, when engaging those aircraft, aiming really is more of a suggestion than a requirement, thanks to the widespread and explosive flak damage of all of the rockets. But at least, much like the planes you're shooting at, there are only a couple of these devices per team. Wait, no, that's not correct. Actually, everybody's carrying these now, so every single person is their own portable anti-aircraft gun. Which is hilarious right now because every AA gun in the game is sitting empty. No one cares about the flat guns anymore. Why bother when you have this thing right here on your back? I'm going to interrupt my own stream of sarcasm here to address the comments that I'm sure are going to be all over this video uh, from gloating infantry focused players saying that this is what pilots deserve and uh, this is definitely balanced because I don't know, you just don't like planes, but this is still in theory a combined arms game. At least that was what Battlefield was once known for. More and more often, I'm seeing this really odd attitude for a franchise that has such a rich history of vehicle combat, where whether it be tanks, planes, or any kind of vehicle that's not having an assault rifle in your hands on foot, is just regarded as annoying. And as somebody who likes to play all of the different infantry classes in the game, as well as all the different vehicles, I mean, that's why my Battlefield sessions tend to be a couple of hours each, because I don't just do one thing in the game. I want to do a couple different classes and a couple different vehicles. I mean, the game has so much to offer. But it really does feel like more and more often DICE is catering to a infantry-focused player base. And I saw this a bit in a video that I posted back in May talking about some issues with some physics updates that DICE had introduced for the planes that uh, made them much more obnoxious to fly. Not more difficult, just less fun. In that video, I pointed out a couple of things that DICE could do to improve how planes handle to make them a bit more fun once again. But a noticeable portion of the comment section of that video actually went off on a tangent, just celebrating the fact that planes at the time had some pretty broken physics. And this was really mind-blowing to me that there was a, again, maybe not significant part of the player base, but definitely very loud and obnoxious part of the Battlefield 5 player base that was celebrating a broken mechanic just because it involved a vehicle that they didn't like to play as or fight against. It's such an odd attitude to me because in a game that again has so many different things that you can do in it, just because as an example I don't play the recon class with a scoped sniper rifle very often, doesn't mean that I'm going to celebrate if suddenly dice breaks spotting flares and 
scope attachments for the recon class. Those are part of the game, and even if I don't use them very often, I do want them to be there, and I want them to be balanced. And yet, here we are, with people on Reddit all weekend insisting that this thing is somehow balanced. And I'll say once again, like I did back in that video in May, that I do have some sympathy for DICE because this is a very large game and they are trying to make everybody happy and balance a ton of different elements against each other. But I find it really hard to believe that people can honestly and with a straight face argue that this is a balanced gadget. Talking about planes as a whole, they have many different counters. Yes, the stationary AA guns are a bit ineffective right now, however they are being changed as announced in the next patch so that planes cannot tank the damage from them as easily, but the primary counter for planes should be other planes. Control of the airspace, air superiority in the match should be a huge deal. Losing air superiority should mean that your team is going to have to deal with enemy aircraft harassing your ground forces. That's how this is supposed to work. Even if your team does not have any competent pilots though, the mobile AA is, if not good at destroying planes, it is very good at area denial. Just one of those mobile AAs can shut down a significant portion of that map already. Those counters though, the stationary AA guns and the mobile AAs, at least you have limited spawns. Right now, you have a hilarious amount of your team and the enemy team spawning in as assaults with these gadgets. DICE has said that that's going to change in a week or so once people get bored of the new toy. And while that's true to an extent, in my opinion, the amount of damage that this thing outputs is ridiculous to even have a single soldier running around with it. Its ammo capacity, its reload speed, its aim speed, and its damage all need to be toned down at least a little bit. I used this thing for hours yesterday, and it was mind-numbingly boring after a while. It's just so easy to run around as assault with your assault rifles, capturing the objective, rolling through kills, and then when you hear a plane, you look up and you get a free kill or double kill as well as vehicle destroyed. It really is easy mode. So, all that being said, how does it feel to deal with these when flying planes? I'm going to, again, set aside the amount of people using these for just a minute because that does kind of uh, make it difficult to make a judgment call uh, on how pervasive they're going to be in a couple of weeks. But I will say that this is going to cause aircraft as a whole to be less engaged with ground forces. I've definitely heard from players in the past that they feel like the plane gameplay is a bit disconnected from the ground gameplay and with planes often dogfighting or having to repair or rearm, they're often doing their own thing and not participating as often in your team trying to capture and hold points. But with how suddenly this gadget can take a plane out or do a crazy amount of damage where you have no choice but to immediately retreat and repair, you're going to see even less of friendly planes supporting your team there on the ground. But if you really don't like bombers, well, the news really isn't all good even if you're there on the ground with this gadget in your hand. Bombers are the one class of aircraft that can definitely tank at least one full shot from these things. So even if you have a couple of people trying to take a bomber down, if he starts playing the cat and mouse game carefully, you're still going to have a hard time taking him down. He can just drop those bombs from a lot further away. The aircraft that are truly in danger from these things are going to be the fighters, unfortunately. I had a couple of dogfights that were interrupted by either me or my opponent in a dogfight getting absolutely nuked by one of these as we're doing a maneuver that doesn't really allow us to keep track of where the ground has gone. And I definitely saw far less ground strafing runs from other fighter pilots flying around the map. There's just so much risk involved, again, especially with how many people are using this gadget at the moment. Balance issues aside, there's also a technical issue with how this thing hits your plane. It is very difficult to tell where it came from because those rockets do spread out in a uh, big cone shape, which is how it does so much damage. The flak explosion has area of effect damage and those rockets do spread out in a pretty wide pattern, but you also don't see those rocket trails when you're in the plane very easily. They don't really show up rendered on your screen till they're far off the ground. So all you can really tell, if you even see the rockets coming, is a general area of the map that they might be in. 
and as it's already very difficult to see things on the ground from a plane, odds are you're never going to be able to track down an individual launcher. But sometimes, if you keep getting hit from the same mountainside, it can be fun to go hunting and see if you can find the launcher site. Oh, and if your favorite plane is a Stuka, well, I feel sorry for you because that dive bomber is going to have to get relatively close to the ground in a predictable pattern as it comes in for an attack run, and it can only take a couple of shots from this thing. Which is kind of sad because you already don't see Stukas very often because they're just not super useful compared to the other aircraft. So guys, to sum it all up. While a balance patch is probably needed, and I would say most likely is coming for this thing, and as usual, when it comes to new gadgets, unlocks, and guns, it's the Assault class who is continuing to get most of the attention in the game for some reason. Hopefully, we'll see some cool stuff coming out for the Pacific here before too long. For now, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this new gadget. I'm sure you guys have some pretty strong opinions as well. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I definitely killed that fighter, but he's still flying. <laughs> Spooky.